Why? Hello and welcome everybody. It is Pox again. So today I wanted to go ahead and bring you guys my next 3.6 League Starter. We already covered the Assassin in the previous video, so we're going to go ahead and talk about the Crit Ice Trapper today. Now, one thing I want to state, I said this in the last video, I'm going to say that in each one of these starters, these characters are not coming with preset gear. Some of them may have some leveling uniques, but the point of these are league starting templates so you guys can get started with the character you want to play. And as I play the builds, I will release more information on them. So let's get started with the Sab. Now, if you guys are not aware, Ice Trap has had some huge buffs in this league. Uh, one thing to note is that the base damage has essentially went from 579 to 869 upwards all the way up to 1300 so that is a very immense damage buff on top of having the damage effectiveness go from 90 percent to 150 but ice trap does struggle with aoe and they have increased the radius along with adding more area nodes on the tree i don't know if it's going to be enough i want to say it is it may actually be my league starter, but I'm going to go ahead and show you guys my tree. So, to start off with the 1 to 20, uh, we're just going to go ahead and start with the standard pathing. Uh, it is a crit build, but I mean, you don't have to go crit early on. It's really up to you whether or not you want to respect. Uh, one thing to note is there are these new nodes now called Lethal Assault. They give damage and area, which is, I mean, they give proj speed, but we're not really looking for the proj speed. So that's one thing to note. Uh, moving on to the 20 to 40 tree, you can see here we have moved down to grab clever construction and high explosives uh, along with rushing acrobatics. Now, one thing to note is you don't actually have to go acrobatics. Um, there's a chess piece you can use called Perfect Form, which I forgot about. It does give you phase acrobatics, and since you get blind from Born into the Shadows, it's really up to you whether or not you want to have acrobatics plus Born in the Shadows, or just one or the other. So, here is the tree outline for this, and you're gonna see there's a big respec because I changed a lot of stuff, so you'll see like kind of like the multiple perspective from both sides of the tree. Um, you can see the next part here. We are now branching over to Witch to pick up the extra AoE that you can find up here. Moving through the Mana Clusters, you can also choose to grab Mind Over Matter at this point. This section of the build does not have Mind Over Matter, uh, but like I said, you are more than free to just pick it up if you choose. Um, also, one thing to note is that we also skip Expedition, Expedi whatever it's called, Munitions. Um, I don't really think I'm going to need it. Especially because we do grab a little bit of trap trigger AoE down here. But if you want it, in the next, basically in the final tree, you'll see that it's a different pathing. So moving on to the next part on the 61 to 80, you can see we've grabbed elemental overload with this tree. Um, and then, I think that's pretty much really it. It's just going for life, getting the Templar AoE. So we've got the AoE in Templar, we've got the AoE in Witch, and we now have the extra AoE from Lethal Assault, scaling off of the increased radius changes. Um, you can also see I have picked up Pyromaniac and Perfect Crime. Um, if you want to be more offensive, go for Chain Reaction. If you want to be more defensive, go for Pyromaniac to give you the immunity and the regen and the reduced mana cost. Then going to the 81 through 100 tree. Now, the reason why this is not crit, um, even though it says it's crit, is because originally I wanted to go non-crit and use a staff with like 8,000 life. Problem is, is Ice Trap is green and you would have to get like four to five off colors on a staff. So I decided it's gonna be better most likely to end up going crit and then just not using a staff. So you can see this is more of like the non-crit area or as in the 100 plus, you can see it's a complete respect to crit now. Um, so in this one, this is with, you know, max that points. Of course, you can just remove whatever you'd like or drop a Lyra. Um, we have max AoE here. So we've got the AoE cluster here, the AoE cluster here. Still have the AoE cluster on here. Uh, you can see our crit notables. We've got crit in the top. We've got the crit by shadow over here. Like I said, I did drop the acrobatics um, along with the crit down here at Heartseeker, and we traded it for going to the Scion Life Wheel uh, to give ourselves overall a larger HP increase. We also have um, the crit cluster on Blast Cascade along with Snowforge and Throat Seeker. Snowforge was recently buffed and now gives resistances along with crit and damage. Uh, and then that's pretty much the character. 
So one thing to note is that with this setup, we're sitting at 6.4k life with 1.4k mana. This is with no mana on my gear. Uh, like I said before previously, my items are just bare bone, nothing that crazy. All it's got is just, I mean, the weapon is really good, but I'm not really here to showcase the DPS. I don't do that here. Um, just kind of showing you guys how much life you can have. So 90 life on the shield, 99 on the helmet. Remember, this is not including any hybrid rolls or percentage rolls. These are just standard life rolls. They're really not difficult to get. This is with a perfect form with a 65 life roll, along with 89 life on gloves, 89 on boots, 89 on amulet, no strength suffixes anywhere, 60 life ring, 60 life ring, 85 life on a belt, along with 42 life on each one of the jewels. Now, with mana, you can see yourself getting to about 2,000 mana. With better gear, you could easily see yourself on over 7k. If you decide to switch out your chest piece as well, you could get even more life. Now, I have in here, I've put in Carcass, because if you're looking to get more AoE, Carcass is going to be your go-to. It's got 45 AoE, that's pretty huge. Um, and then this is the chest piece we were talking about. Perfect Form would give you the 100% Reduce Arctic Armor Mana Reservation, which would also just make you a bit more tanky, and it gives you Phase Acrobatics that you would normally get for specking all the way into Acrobatics. Now, going with the items, or sorry, the skills, you can see we've got Ice Trap. So... This is what I was talking about with there's so many greens on Ice Trap, which is what makes it difficult to use a staff. But we have currently Ice Trap, Hypothermia. Hypothermia works really well because we're going to be using Cluster Trap. So Hypothermia will essentially like one trap will trigger and the other traps will trigger the Hypothermia. Added Cold since the damage effectiveness has went up significantly. Uh, I don't have Cold Pen tagged yet, but it you know it's going to be on there, of course. You can feel free to use whatever you'd like. Uh, most likely not using Controlled Destruction and we'll be using Cold Pen. Uh, and then I've got Ink AoE, in case you can't get six greens on your chest piece. Uh, of course, you could remove Ink AoE for like Trap and Mine or whatever that you'd like, essentially. Um, and then for debuffing, you could use either Wave of Conviction, but it's probably going to be better to just use Frost Bomb and an Arcane Surge setup to just reduce the target's resistance more. Anyway, that's pretty much about it. Um, if you're looking for things to level with, you can just use your generic caster leveling gear. Um, I don't know, how do you spell Oxium? A-U-X. There's Oxium, not the chain belt, there's another one. What is Oxium? Here we go. There's these Oxium Scepters that give you 140% crit chance of spells along with uh, additive damage, which is going to be really good for early game for Ice Trap. So you can use Oxiums, and these will easily take you for sure all the way up to maps. Uh, not a problem. So you feel free to dual wield those. Anyway, that's pretty much about it. The last thing I want to state is depending on whether or not you go mind over matter, remember that hatred was changed recently in this patch and hatred is now similar to wrath and hatred gives you uh, more cold damage right away. So it gives you the conversion and it gives you the more cold damage. So think about running something like that or you could even run the new aura. Uh, I don't know if it's called malevolence or the other one. It gives you more spell damage and crit chance. It's okay, but it is a 50% reservation. Uh, as for leveling up early with the character, you can use whatever traps you want. Remember, you are scaling trap damage, so leveling is not a problem. If you have a problem, I don't know what you're doing wrong. You're not playing Path of Exile because they also buffed Explosive Trap, so you can use that. You've got Fire Trap to pick from. You've also got Lightning Trap, so you've got a bunch of different traps to pick from. Anyway, that's pretty much about it. Hope you guys had a wonderful time. Hope you guys enjoyed yourselves. Remember, if you are curious, uh, feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And remember, you can catch me every day at twitch.tv slash pox, where I'll be streaming the League Start. I'm not sure yet if I am going to be playing this character or potentially the Divine Ire uh, character or my trickster that you can see right here. Haven't decided which one yet. Anyway, I'll see you guys all tomorrow. Take care, everybody.